how many kg or how many bags of feed do I need to raise my broiler meat chicken? This is the type of question so many people, including myself, ask before starting my broiler meat chicken farm. Of course, not everybody has this information at hand and that is why I want to share this information with you. I came across a feeding chart as well as the growth chart for broilers and I thought it good for me to share with you so that uh, you have something to work with. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's expected of you to feed per chick for one chicken now for one chick rather you are supposed to feed them 0.167 grams for the first one week so you will know how to do your calculation probably you are going to divide it by seven since seven days make a week but you shouldn't exceed that and by calculation you are expected to have at least 0.185 body weight as your uh, as your as your weight as as at day seven if you don't have that kind of weight uh, probably the type of breed you are using uh, or the type of breed of uh, broiler you have is not good enough or the feed you have is not good enough or you have to just take an oversight of what you are doing wrong so this is the recommended uh, body weight gain and also the recommended feeding chart so for the week two i have something here which is 0.375 kg of feed that's 375 grams of feed for your week two that is the amount of feed you, you are going to be using for week two to raise one bed one broiler chicken i hope you understand and uh, the the body weight as at week two shouldn't be less than 0 0.465 grams uh, 0 0.465 kg which is like 465 grams at day 14 now you shouldn't be having less than 460 grams body weight at day 14 then for the following week you are expected to give your chicken around 0 0.65 kg of feed which is equivalent to 650 grams and in return your chick must be around 0.943 kg body weight that's like 940 grams body weight if you are not getting this result at day 21 then you are doing yourself a harm and you know loss is inevitable if you are not attaining this of course as you you know uh, in my previous production i documented from day one up to day 48 thereabout stop it i documented all my progress throughout that production and you observe that at day 21 I was having 1.1 kg body weight which means I was still on the right track of course some people will even have more than that depending on the type of feed you are giving your chicken at the same time depending on the breed you stock your farm with so now let's move to day uh, week week uh, 4 you are expected to feed your chicken with 0 0.945 kg of broiler feed for the week four they must have consumed they, they should consume 0 0.945 which is equivalent to like uh, 900 and let me round it off to 950 grams of 
feeds for one chick now. And it's expected of you to have at the end of week four, 1.524. That's the recommended. Anything be below that is not good enough, but you, there is a probability of you getting higher than that. I believe I documented at my own day 28. I was having, I can't even remember it, but uh, take a look at day 28 here. Okay, so you are expected to have your body weight, the, the body weight of your chicken should be around 1.5 plus. Now to week 5. To week 5, you are expected to feed your chick, one chick now, one bird now, 1.215 kg. That's 1,215 grams of feed for the whole week 5. That is the amount of feed you are going to be given to one bird. And in return, you are expected to have attained at least 2.191 kg body weight, which is attainable. And you know, your week five, that's like 35, day, day 35. So at day 35, you are expected to have 2.191 one nine kg i documented my home where i showed you i had 2.4 kg take a look at this video how i got it okay at uh, week six your birds are expected to consume 1.434 kg of feed throughout that week yeah, which means you have to divide it into seven or whichever way, but you shouldn't exceed that amount, 1.434 kg. And in returns, the average body weight for your bird shouldn't be less than 2.85. It should not be less than 2.85. If it's lesser than that, then you have to adjust some things of which at this level uh, at this their age it is very difficult for them to acclimatize themselves with any other changes because by then they do not require more protein anymore they need energy giving food to sustain them and also to maintain their weight gains i hope you understand so what you have to do is just increase on the amount of energy given food so that you can adjust the weight. So uh, for week seven, you are expected to feed your chicken with 1.593 uh, kg of feed. And uh, in return, by, that week seven, by the end of week seven, you are supposed to have at least 3.5 kg body weight of your birth and uh, you bear with me at day 49 I told you I was recording uh, 3. Point, yeah 3.5 3.5 uh, I don't think I made that video I don't think I made the video but I recorded that amount although not all chicken will grow at the same size or they are, they are not going to have a uniform growth but if you do the right thing the discrepancy the differences will be minimal especially in this production cycle I am in I told you I am getting like 90% male chicks so I, I will be experiencing or I'm going to be documenting my experiences to know whether if I stock my farm with just pure male chicks or if I have a mixture, will there be differences? So that is what I'm going to be doing in this cycle. So ladies and gentlemen, at week eight, you are expected to feed your chicken at least one, uh, yeah, not even at least, you're expected to feed your chicken 1.691 kg of feed. I have to be reading this so that I'll give you the exact, yeah, 
I'll give you the exact as the recommended. And at the end of week eight, mm -hmm. your chicken should be having at mm -hmm. least 4.1 kg body weight. So ladies and gentlemen, with these uh, numbers of uh, uh, amount of feed per week I just gave you and the expected body weight, you should be able to calculate the numbers of kg or the numbers of bags of feed you are going to need for a two month uh, cycle of broiler meat chicken production and uh, though this video is going to be too long but i'm going to make a an example for you we are, we are going to be making use of a hundred birds and we are going to be using the same value i gave you i'm going to be using it for my calculation shall we begin our calculation on 100 birds so on 100 birds of course we are talking about broiler now this calculation is not useful for those people raising turkey or pigeon or whichever type of other birds this um, calculation is solely for broiler meat chicken so for 100 birds in week one we are going to be using 0 0.167 multiplied by 100 that is 16.7 kg 16.7 kg of feed i hope you understand of course we all know that the standard kg of a feed is 25 kg so we're going to just do our division that's a 16.7 divided by 25 so we are using 0 0.67 bags i have to round it off 0 0.67 bags Okay, for the week two, we are going to be using 0 0.375 multiplied by 100. Since we are raising one bird, uh, 100 birds, and we assume we don't have any mortality, we are still raising 100 birds as at week two. So, we are going to be making use of 37.5 kg of feed, which is equivalent to divided by 25 1.5 bags for week 3 we are going to be using 0 0.65 times 100 that's 65 kg divided by 25 is equals to 2.6 bags in case you are missing already this value here they are the standard which is for week three each belt is expected to consume 0 0.65 for that week three and uh, if we are raising 100 birds we are just going to multiply this value by 100 to give us this and uh, we already note the amount of uh, kg in one bag is 25 so we are going to divide this value by 25 to get this 2.6 kg of bags then for week four is expected of us to use 0 0.945 per bed times 100 since we are raising 100 and we assume all the 100 birds they, they survived so we are going to be using 94.5 
kg for week four. And now, the only thing we are going to do is uh, divide this value by 25 to know the numbers of bags we are using. So for week four, we are going to be using 3.78 bags. For week five, is expected of one bed to consume 1.215. And since we are raising 100 of it, we are going to be multiplying it to get 121.5 kg. And everything divided by 25 will give us 4.86 bags. For week six, is expected of one bed to consume 1.434 and we are raising 100 so we are going to be using 143.4 kg of feed for week 6 and to know the numbers of bags we are going to divide it by 25 which is 5.736 that's 74 bags 5.74 bags. Now for week 7, it's expected of one bird to consume 1.593 kg of feed. So I'm going to multiply that by 100 since we are catering for 100 birds to get 159.3 kg of feed. That is the amount of kg of feed we are going to be consuming for week seven and the next thing to do to know the number of uh, bags is just to divide this value by 25 which is 6.372 thereabouts so 6.37 bags then for the last week i'm going to be basing my own calculation on eight weeks which is two months so for the last week which is week eight, uh, your bird is expected to, uh, to, each bird is expected to consume 1.691. And since we are raising 100, I'm going to multiply that value by 100 to get 169.1 kg. To know the numbers of bags, we are going to divide it by 25. So we have 6.764. 6.76 6 bags. So now we are going to total everything. All the numbers of bags as 0 0.67 plus 1.5 plus 2.6 plus 3.78 plus 4.86 plus 5.74 plus 6.37 plus 6.76 is equals to 32.28 kg uh, bags. So is expected of us to use 32.3 bags and if you calculate the numbers of kg here as well you will arrive at almost the same thing with the numbers of bags we calculated for here so ladies and gentlemen ladies and gentlemen you just see the way I calculated the numbers of bags of feet you are going to be needing for 100 birds uh, for the duration of 8 weeks. Uh, you can apply the same method to your own um, poultry farm, of course, to your broilers. And uh, with this guide, you'll be able to know the numbers of uh, bags of feed you will be needing for the whole production cycle so ladies and gentlemen if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel